Hi Kiwi! Alright, we are back at Hades 1, and we're going to be running the Aspect of Zeus on the shield with the Zeus Keepsake. We're going to take two levels of extreme measures to get to our required heat, and let's see how today's run goes. So, my hope for this run is primarily what we've... Oh, already starting with a hammer. Let's see. After your special hits, your attack deal... Your next two attacks deal 80% more damage. Uh, or your bull rush charges up faster. I guess we'll take Unpowering Flight. That sounds pretty solid. My shield grows stronger. So basically what it means is I need to get a really good attack boon and combo it with the special boon. So I think the special is, the special is obvious. We want Zeus's special, which means he's probably going to give us his attack knowing how this game likes to tease us with power and then never offer it. But we'll see. Some Anything good? Uh, oh, there's Zeus, but Zeus versus Chaos. I think we take the early chaos because that can be All so right. good. And most of the detriments I can suffer, I can deal with even if I'm facing Meg or her sisters. Oh, you have that all seeing artifact of mine. But in the old guise that the great Lord Zeus once used when he retaliated violently against his parentage, I watched his movements through it for some time. Huh. That's cute that he can, like, watch you through the shield. Dash Strike deals 119% more damage. Sounds ridiculously strong. Don't care for back attacks. 40% increased rarity on boons. Huh. <laughs> eh, pardon me. Sorry. I'm still in the middle of my peak allergy season. Sorry about that. My nose was just so stuffy. All right. These both sound pretty decent because a 40% 40 chance to increase rarity is pretty solid for the rest of the run versus... I mean, 120% more damage on the dash strike. We'd have a really strong attack. I think, I think I'm gonna take slippery favor because I wasn't really planning to build around the the dash strike necessarily. Oh, perfect, Zeus. All right. So I believe the penalty is I cannot pick up my cast stone, which is fine because I'm really not building around the cast anyway. You know what? Maybe that dash strike boon was the right choice because I am pretty consistently dashing into attack whenever I use my blitz shield in a corner. But oh well. Assuming the boon we just got from Chaos Effects hit Chaos's boons, that might still actually be really strong. Ah. Well, I'm definitely taking more damage here than I needed to, but... I had to reset my brain for a second there. Ah, now that's the Aegis that I know and love. Or used to love, at least, the dear old thing. Now I quite love these shocking bolts of mine. Though I am proud you've given Aegis a good home and bear it in my name. All right, let's see. Special. Excellent. Okay, so we got the special, which is what we want, and it's a decent rarity, too, so that should be some pretty solid damage. A little HP goes a long way for keeping us alive, and I think we're already kind of at the point where all I need is one good attack boon, which begs the question, who would I want the attack boon of? Stay dead. That's actually a really good question that I hadn't really thought about until just now. I mean, I don't even know who gives the better attack modifiers, frankly. Aphrodite is probably the first one to think of because her attack is just so ba the base damage on her attack is quite strong. So yeah, well we'll probably aim for Aphrodite. Just in time. Weak is just such a good, such a strong boon as well because it lets me play a little bit brain dead for the sake of just in in a potentially melee build with arguably this one of the safest weapons to play as. But you know, all right, let's see what's in here. No use. Hmm. Not interested in any of that. Although the gems might be nice. Have enough heat. All right. Coin. Excellent. That'll let us afford a boon before the final uh, in the final shop. So what can I talk about today? Well, we we started watching Apothecary Diaries, Kiwi and I, uh, and that's been a lot of fun. I've already watched the entire first season once, back when it was actively airing. Oh my goodness. It was interesting. I, I, I've commented on So the reason why we started watching Apothecary Diaries is because we had started trying to watch Spice and Wolf, and it didn't quite resonate with Kiwi, which is a little disappointing for me. Like, I've never seen Spice and Wolf, and I will probably continue to watch it, but after two episodes of Holo consistently being portrayed as mostly naked in a lot of her scenes, it kind of turned Kiwi off. Uh, for me, I'm kind of desensitized to the nonsense that anime pulls, but I certainly understand why, especially for... for women who end up watching anime, why constantly seeing scantily clad or naked women can be a bit uncomfortable. Regardless, it just wasn't for her because of that, and I respect it. I respect that. I, 
I, I am curious to see it because it sounds like it's a pretty good classical fantasy anime set around an econo a, probably an, an economic based logic almost. That nectar also amplified one of my boons. N uh, that sounds pretty interesting to me. I'd be I'd be very interested to continue watching it for that aspect alone. This one's going to be a little annoying because it's going to teleport behind us. That's probably when we get our attacks in. I don't think Poseidon attack is the right call here just because it pushes enemies away and we want to be able to hit them reliably. The shield already pushes things away pretty heavily, so I feel like it would be very difficult to reliably get my damage off. Who's laughing now? Okay. Excellent. We want Jolted. Jolted is so strong. Glad to get that already. So this run is going to be pretty strong, I think, because we're, we're going to have increased rarity on most of the boons we find. And we already have one of our two status ailment applying boons now. We just need another one from whatever second god we need. And like I said, I'm leaning towards Aphrodite. Anyway, so yeah, I, I am curious about Spice and Wolf. I have never, I never saw the original Spice and Wolf, but I've always heard good things about it. So I'm very curious to actually watch it and, and see if I get to enjoy it the way many other people who in the past have. I just, I was hopeful to share the remake with Kiwi and it wasn't for us, I guess. Which is fine, totally fine. Because uh, I, I had ended up talking about Apothecary Diaries back when I was recording Celeste and Kiwi is currently watching through the Celeste playthrough. <coughs> Pardon me. And uh, based on the descriptions of what I was offering in the in those videos, she got very excited and said, Oh, this sounds way more up my alley. And I don't blame her for that. Honestly, Cheers, mate. Mau Mau is just a really fun and well-written character. I don't actually know how this works with the Blitz Disc. So I think I'll just take the 15% dodge chance, or do I want the coin? Honestly, the coin might be more fun. I don't think I really need to dodge in this build because I can kite out pretty much everything for damage. So yeah, let's take the money. That'll let us afford fun things later on. I almost took the darkness. Do I want Athena? I think Athena could be decent. I don't know how strong her modifier is, but yeah, let's take Athena. 77% more damage on the attack. That's pretty solid. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, let's take it. That's a pretty solid attack boon, and now I can do something else. Oh, this was just the mid shop. Excellent. That means we can potentially get another, uh, it's unlikely, but we may be able to get enough coins. If that Infernal Trove gives Zobels, then we have a good chance of getting enough coins to really have some fun here. What's Disc is very strong if used, right? I have to say. There's definitely a bit of a, high, a, a higher skill ceiling with using it properly, but I think... For me, it, it, just to get it online, the, the the skill ceiling is still relatively low. All right, a second Athena boon or the shop. Well, I definitely can't afford anything in the shop right now, so sounds like the second the, the second Athena boon is where we're going. And then I guess the question becomes, what what keepsake do I take after this? So I've been mulling over the idea of doing a challenge run where I Enough, I've better things to do. I deny myself all god boons and try to beat it with just the base stats and the what's his name the Sisyphus keepsake would be really good for that so maybe I try and train that up or I just go all in on this let's see there must be some unconquerable force or foe awaiting you just at the border of your realm and ours we cannot even see it through a shroud of darkness there I shall make certain that your family knows it may take considerable time to surpass. So fear not, for we are patient here. Alright, let's see. Cast Dash Death Defiance. Um, I'm not really the biggest fan of Athena's cast because it just... It feels hard to use reliably, so maybe I take her dash here. Ideally, what we get is we get the ability of hers that makes enemies exposed. That increases back attack damage, and realistically speaking, I'm not using it for that. Hello, Fury Sisters. Oh, good. You must have gone and signed a pact. Isn't that right, Red Blood? Tell me right now. Yes. Well, as a matter of fact, I have. Though I don't see how that's any business of yours, Electo. I like working alone, and you don't see me doing that right now, do you? So I would say it's my business, all right. 
along with killing you. Good luck with that. I appreciate your endeavors, but be prepared for failure. We've got a. Oh, she's getting angry. Oh, hello. Still gimmicking her out just a little bit with Bull Rush. She's she's traveling at about the same speed as the disc, so she was just traveling through it and getting hit by all of the hits. That's funny. Like, look at her. She's kind of caught in it. I use I can use my shield to just block her attacks like that, or her projectiles at least. Like, as long as I keep her in, I'm, I'm not actually looking at where I am or where she is. Oops. Oh wow. Okay. I'm maybe a little bit rusty, just not having played in a good while, but I'm, I'm running one of the easiest builds to win on, so that's fine. There we go. Yeah, my brain was off a little bit for that fight, but genuinely, I don't think I was at any point threatened by her, uh, her fight. Okay, moving along. And while we won't be fully healed, we'll be healed pretty well. Okay, my keepsake. So this is the question: What do I want to take here? Because I don't need a. Th I I just need a. One more debuff on enemies. I could go palm blossom. That would make it so that I get more levels on whatever I'm using over time. That might honestly honestly be the best option here. Or I could go cosmic egg and hope for more chaos gates with the increased rarity. Uh, I guess I can also consider from the perspective of what would I be more inclined to use in the future. Like we were talking about Shattered Shackle, 50% more damage while using attacks not empowered by boons. I think, well, let's take Palm Blossom here. I think that's fine. Might help. Yeah. All right, anything here? No. Do I want to sell anything? Need these. No, nah, these are all kind of the core of my damage, except for the dash, maybe, but we'll, we'll stick with what we got. Broke out of Tartarus. That we did in relatively decent time. Under seven minutes, not remarkably fast, but that was mostly because I was kind of traipsing around without a thought. Getting warmer. I de my brain definitely feels a little bit empty today, Long and it's... Way to go. I think I'm ready. It's a little more noticeable than usual. I'm not sure why. Uh, hopefully that doesn't cost us the run. I don't... It, this, is, this already feels like one of those runs where if I'm going to lose, it's going to be intentional. Well, okay. Not intentional in the, con in the conventional sense, but you know what I mean. Like, I... I should not have lost if I lose. So it, it like it is not necessarily strictly by intent, but it feels like it is because wow, there is no excuse for losing the way I did. Sort of sort of loss. That said, we'll see how this plays out, that's for sure. I'm really not a fan of these enemies that just kinda like run away all the time. I've made my opinion on what I call time wasting enemies pretty clear in this in my other playthroughs, particularly in High Hollow Knight, the uh Time-wasting bosses, the ones that just run around or waste your time doing silly gimmicks. Never a fan of that. Alright, another Hermes or a Palm. We'll take Hermes. Although getting more Palms on the special sounds like a lot of fun. I guess, thinking on it, one way to reliably use this keepsake is to sell, use the, the blood pools, the ones that let you sell your boons. So that you can more reliably get the uh, the boons that you want upgraded with palms, especially on builds like this where literally the only really the only boons I care about are three: my my special boon that has to be Zeus, ideally, my jol uh, jolted. There he is. Well, what's good there, cuz? Uh, who am I kidding? We can cut the small talk. I don't mind. I interrupt my brothers and sisters all the time. <laughs> that makes sense for you, Hermes. Uh, so the only boons that really matter in this run are three. The special boon with Zeus, the jolted boon off of that, and then whatever third boon I take that can apply a status ailment. Those are really the only things that matter. And that's all the damage this build needs. Attack is faster, you move faster, your special is faster. We'll take the 30% move speed, please. Cut speed. Oh wow, I can, you can feel that movement speed. I am a lot faster. The one downside to this build is that the shield when you attack with it does push enemies out of the way. So you kind of unintentionally do sort of up- hold on. Oh no. Mm. 
I'm sorry, my allergies are so nasty right now. I'm probably gonna have to listen to this entire video and just suppress the sound of the sneezing, if not just remove it. I know Kiwi finds the, the sneezing funny, but I'm I'm getting a little bit annoyed by my uh, olfactory betrayal. Idiots. Uh, Cheers. Allergies aren't fun. I don't even know what I'm allergic to. I just know it happens consistently in the, the warmer months. Typically in August and September, but this this July has been particularly nasty to me, it seems. Alright, we're gonna go see Eurydice. And... Try and progress her little narrative with... Odysseus. Hello. Look, Eurydice, I promise not to bother you with this each time, but... You should know your husband's shattered by what happened with the two of you. He's genuinely sorry, and he loves you very deeply still, I'm sure of it. What am I supposed to do with that, Your Royal Majesty? I... I don't know yet. Though you know what? You shouldn't take my word for it. You should take his. Don't think I'll be running into him anytime soon, from what I understand. But you're the Hades kid. You want to pull some strings on our behalf? Go right ahead, I guess. But I won't hold my breath. Even if I could. <laughs> Interesting. The Hades kid, eh? Alright, let's see. How many, how many boons do I have that I could potentially benefit from on this one. I don't think it'll affect Slippery Favor, so it's this one, one, possibly two, possibly three, four, five. I have six boons, only two of which can get upgraded. If we get it on the special, we win. If we get it on the attack, we're still not that bad off. I think I'm gonna risk it. Let's try and upgrade these and see what happens. That can be arranged. Nope, got them on two that we don't particularly care two. about. More jolted, well, the jolted damage is pretty solid, and now we're 40% faster. Wee, look at us go. Oh, hey, look, it's Afro. Take care, yeah. All right, so I guess we are getting Aphrodite in the god pool. Unfortunately, I'm probably gonna have to take her to cast, which is probably the weakest option available to me here, but it's fine. I, I, I actually, I could take her call too, so I guess there's that, but I don't really, I, I, actually, I guess the call would be her weakest option because I can't actually apply weak with it. You're basically dead. Cool. Look at our damage. I think that's the quickest that mini boss has ever gone. Lord Zeus has made acquaintances with you. Oh, I sometimes forget that he's your uncle. His favor is well worth having, I assure you. All right, let's see. Cast, call, or whenever I take damage. Yeah, I think unfortunately we will take the cast, but that guarantees that we can get uh, what is it? Status privilege. Our damage buff so yeah that's the route we'll take plus it also sets us up for some good duos I don't think I want her call over say Zeus's or Athena's call I'll take it if I'm offered it next time but it's definitely not a priority for what I would like in this build get in that lava or don't that's fine too where was I what was I even talking about after I uh my brain did a hard reset with that sneezing fit Good question for myself there. Dead. Oh, you know what? So, uh, so we were talking about Spice and Wolf. Although I guess I was kind of on the end of that topic. I just wanted to say, uh, like I, I, I'm going, I am going to give Spice and Wolf a genuine try because again, I'm not terribly bothered by the nudity that's often in anime. It, bo well, okay, I, I shouldn't say I'm not bothered. It's annoying and it takes away from the plot in a lot of instances. But I'm, I guess I'm more forgiving of it, or at least I'm desensitized to it to the point where I'm not going to let it ruin a story for me if the story itself is worth watching or listening to, you know? Uh, we will take Zeus first here. Not the hardest choice you've ever made. <laughs> that laugh, though. Your lightning bolt effects deal damage in a larger area. That could be decent with Blitz Disc. Yeah, we'll take that, I think. Yeah. High voltage, please. I must admit, I'm unaccustomed to rejection, love. But you must be accustomed to swift death. Here comes one for you now. You'd be surprised, Aphrodite. My deaths are usually slow and painful. Aphrodite, I'm sorry. But not always. We, we've proven it goes both ways with Jeff. I will say that these, these witches are going to make it very hard to see Aphrodite's little heart that's chasing me around. On the bright side, I have Athena's dash, which makes it very easy to reflect all their projectiles. Now. 
I just have to be as close to the on the lookout as I can be without unintentionally killing myself, I suppose. You know, I bet that Athena's special would be pretty good on this weapon as well. Maybe we try that the next time we run the Aspect of Zeus. That way I don't use uh, uh, Zeus's special every time I run it. Just so that things stay a little bit new. Or a little bit different. There we go. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Cannot bring myself to stay upset with you forever, little godling. So let's move along from that small misunderstanding there. Very small, very small indeed. All right. Resist damage from foes. Bonus life gain. When foes are slain, they inflict weak on nearby enemies. Since I seem to be pretty reliably forgetting to use her cast, I honestly think this is probably the best option. So we'll take that. Beautiful. And then Demeter. Demeter's call would be a decent way to get status privilege going. I think I'll take the shop though. See what else I can pull out of that. All right, what have you got on stock for us today? Aphrodite again? Sure, why not? As you're doing business. Dearest, you must know, Goddess Athena and myself, we don't always share a common view. Perhaps because she overthinks things constantly, while my heart leads me on. I'm glad we understand each other then. It would be most embarrassing to be caught bickering amongst ourselves in front of Zagreus. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we get. Your cast gains any bonuses you have for striking foes from behind. Well, there's another enticement to make us use our cast in the first place if I remember to use it. I'll pay for that. Oh, look, we got lucky. We got a level up on the special again. So another 8 damage. That's not a whole lot, but hey, damage is damage. Don't think I need the heal. Learning is going to be made very short work of with our current build. Just watch. Oh, right, I forgot we're on extreme measures. I feel like we're just not getting through to one another here. Maybe if you name him Zagreus, if you name him, he might be more forgiving of your uh, differences. Yes, just keep your head right in that blitz disc. I promise it will go well for you. Oh. You and your chin move, my bud. Alright, where's the first head coming? Oh, right, I can reflect these, keep that in mind. Why are you guys just camped in the lava? That's not cool. Oh, jeez. Alright, so maybe I'm taking a little bit more damage than I strictly need to. Oh my goodness, I'm taking a lot more damage than I strictly need to. Okay, there we go. Pop that onto you there. Like I said, th this build is a little bit high risk, high reward. Mostly just because it's... Or I shouldn't say high risk. It has a higher skill ceiling for, like, using very, most effectively. It in and of itself is pretty solid and pretty easy to use, but there you can optimize it effectively, and I might not be quite there yet. Alright, there's one head. Let's see if we can get these two taken care of. Look, I have, I have the damage. I have the thunder! <laughs> I missed the dung defender. He was such a champ. Cool dude. Just let that clean up for us. Oh, you, you're you free to travel now. I didn't realize. Whoop, watch that hit. Uh, watch that chin. All right, we'll just get as many hits as we can here. And then back out and let Blitz just do the rest. I guess the question that I haven't answered yet is, does Jolted stick on enemies after the first time they take the damage? I don't think it does. But Blitz Disc is so good at reapplying it because it just multi-hits, it rapidly hits. All right. There we go. No deaths. Perfect. So, as far as Apothecary Diaries go... Okay, no, I was just waiting to see if there was anything from Hades before I commented. We'll, we'll keep running this... this keepsake. And I've kind of learned my lesson because we're probably going to be immediately offered a hammer in the light of Ixie and it always ends up spawning a Chaos Gate when I'm not ready for it. I don't feel like selling any of that. The move speed isn't necessary, but it is fun, and who am I to deny myself fun? Uh, let's see. So the Apothecary Diaries, I just, uh, so we, I had started talking about it during my Celeste playthrough, nice and, cool and Kiwi had heard me talk about it and was like, you know what, this main character sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Vaguely, vaguely, rela uh, vaguely relatable in her chaos and fun. And special interest in nature towards her special interests. Place to have to smash my way through. 
and I, I supported the decision of, well, if you've taken an interest and Spice and Wolf wasn't your cup of tea, let's try this one, because this one I can very comfortably say, it, it's, it's almost weird. Like, the Apothecary Diary centers around Cortesians. A lot of the main characters are Cortesians or work at a whorehouse, and yet they are not nearly... It, it, I, for both of us, it seems not nearly as uncomfortable as just seeing Holo traipsing around fully nude every time. Like, yeah, there are references, but it's never it's never like this uncomfortable male gaze focus. It's, it's definitely there, don't get me wrong. I mean, there, there are entire plot points around the characters having had uh, intimate relationships. But it's it's somehow much more tasteful. It seems I, I don't know how to explain it in a way that won't bother people who are like, "Wow, you think that you think a, a story centered around Cortesians is more tasteful than Spice and Wolf? A story centered around like G socioeconomics and like I get that, but I mean I think it's just how how much there was of Hollow being naked in the first two episodes that really bothered Kiwi. Um, and again, it just, it, it's not the only anime that we've been turned away from simply because of the male gaze that is kind of integral to how it is portrayed. But I guess the, the, the benefit of, excellent. I think to Apothecary Diary's credit, Transgressions are not tolerated. Mau Mau is just an immediately more relatable character to both Kiwi and I because of how what her outlook in life is, how she interacts with others, how she interacts with her special interests. So it was just... It, it's easier to forgive a character that you relate to, I suppose, is another way to, another way to look at it, at least in part. Useless. Mine. All right. We're going to take Ares here and try to remember to get his keepsake, because I keep forgetting it. I have no particular interest in Ares on this build, let me make that clear. In fact, I think overall I'm finding that Ares, aside from Hunting Blaze, is one of the more consistently weaker gods to get in the god pool. That's, but I, I will run some fun Ares builds, I just haven't figured out where it makes sense and what I would want in that build yet. All in good time though, I imagine. But uh... Anyway, back to Apothecary Diaries. So, I don't know. So, we're, we're up to episode... I think we just finished watching episode 5 as a reference for where we are in the plot. Uh, so, we, we just... So the last episode we watched was the uh, attempted poisoning of one of the Cortesian... Or one of the Cortesians in the Jade Palace. You are the son of Night oh. himself, Face A fascinating character, ill-liked upon Olympus. Although I myself have always longed to meet her. I forgot to give him nectar. I always forget to give him nectar. Oh well. Well, I guess we'll just take his call. This means war. And hope that we see him again outside of the shop where I can't give him a boon. Aphrodite versus Patroclus. I don't really have anything to gain from Patroclus right now, do I? I think we take the mini boss. Well, I mean, the obvious thing that I have to gain from Patroclus is his narrative, but I don't know if I can do that until I get more nectar given to Achilles, so I think I'm just gonna go this way. We'll do it for the fun of the build. Maybe we can get Aphrodite's legendary and sell it again. You choose to challenge me again. Not many in Elysium so dare. Then I accept. Wait, I never challenged you. The entrance to your chamber looks like any other pathway in Elysium. I have no quarrel with you, sir. Well, to step into my chamber is to challenge me. It is a custom since the time I lived and breathed in darkness. I will send you into such a darkness now. Well, I'll bring the light with the power of Zeus's, uh, everything. I'm trying to remember using the cast now because this is an actual boss where that damage really matters. So I have to remember that I have the keepsake or the call of of Ares now, which is pretty solid in terms of this build because I can just do two giant blades of damage, and it's kind of funny if I do that. I'll try that. I'll I'll, I'll I'll drop the blitz disc and then do this. 
Oh wow, I moved so fast in that form. Yeesh, I wasn't actually able to control it because of how fast it was moving. Alright, here we go. Double blades! <laughs> it's Beyblade! Kiwi, did you ever watch Beyblade? I occasionally saw it on like Saturday morning cartoon and never really got into it. I know I've, I think I've talked about Beyblade a little bit in the, probably in the, the blade where I had the hunting, or the episode where I had the hunting blades in this run, or in this playthrough. But, uh, yeah. I thought they were cool as, like, the toys, but the anime never really did anything to me. Uh, granted, I had, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon to fall in love with first, so... In the name of Hades. Let's see. Smoldering air that your guard gauge charges up automatically, but is capped at 25%. Huh. Eh. Doesn't sound amazing, but sure, we'll take it. We can sell it. <laughs> I don't think I'm actually going to sell a Kiwi. It just means we have to spam our call as much as possible now, and I'm not opposed to that because it is kind of a funny... It's kind of gimmicky. Just all of the spinning discs of death is basically this build. You know, that would make for a good, good title. Spinning discs of death. Uh, or maybe, you know what, I should title it after Beyblade. I'll just call it Letter Rip. <laughs> Who knows? I'm not going to remember this conversation when I actually, like, process this video. So what does it matter? Oh, you know, these chariots are a little bit tricky to deal with. Wow, you know what? That Ares' uh, call actually does a pretty solid amount of damage, honestly. It's 380 in the span of a second. I'd say that's pretty decent, especially if I can get it stacked up with the Blitz Disc. Alright, where to next? Am I seriously not going to get another... another hammer? That's kind of disappointing. We'll take the shop here. Get the HP. I think this is the mid shop. I've come to offer my support. Well, I appreciate your support, except this is kind of useless because of the duo boon we took. Uh... We aren't getting her debuff yet. Uh, I think we'll just take the temporary deflect so that I don't get hit multiple times in a row. We'll take the HP. Don't all in one place, mate. I don't think I need the... Oh, thank goodness, there's our hammer. I don't think I need the palm here because it's too unlikely that I'll get it on the on the special. And even then, the special's already level 3, which means the, uh, the chances of actually benefiting from it are fairly low. Or, I, I shouldn't say they're fairly low. It's just there, there's a significant amount of diminishing returns here to make it less worthwhile than... Oh, dear. Would you guys kindly... Leave me be. Yeah, chariots are probably the one of the hardest to deal with enemies in, in, with any sort of melee build, just because they're so good at just clipping you when you're trying to go in for the melee attack. It is nice that I can so easily spam my my call though. I, I don't know. I feel like the maybe the, the duo boon was a little bit of a debuff to me. Uh, what was it? S Smoldering Air, I think it was called? Just because, I mean... It seems like I'm going to have an issue with reliably keeping my disc out while also using it. Alright. Put some extra punch into this shield. Attack hits twice but doesn't foot knock foes away compared to the other two options. I don't think that's a ch there's any choice. Because I was complaining about the attack knocking nice foes stuff. away and now I don't have that issue. Uh, I think we just take the coin here in preparation for the, the final floor. Anyway, so... Oh, excellent. Did That'll help. This himself build all of this? That's a good question, Zagreus. Alright, we'll take the shop again, because I can't afford most of what's in it. And we talked about saving up. You, One legendary? Vengeful mood. Your revenge effects sometimes occur without taking damage. That's kind of cute. I don't have very much in the way of revenge... ...abilities, but we haven't taken that before. Although, building strength is pretty solid, since we're going to be spamming our... All anyway. I think we'll take Vengeful Mood, though. Both them might. All right. There we go. Destroy the pots, even if they don't give gold. It's just a, it's a it's about the message. It's about sending a message. Big crowd, huh? Big he bull. Would pit you against me, Asterius. I can see it in his mismatched eyes. I cannot shake the terrible vision that someday or night it shall be me standing alone here whilst you, whilst you take sides against me with that fiend. No, oh, Theseus, you're so insecure. 
mysterious about that, please consider it a standing offer if you'd like. <laughs> I'd rather have you as a friend than as a foe. Not sure that I can say the same for Theseus, of course. I feel like Theseus would also be a really good friend. He's like loyal to loyal to the death. He's basically just a large dog. You poisonous worm. I knew you had a more sinister trick at play because your fighting style certainly is of no concern just on its own. Wrong. Are there truly no depths to which you would not stoop? Beyblade. They're caught in they're caught in the special. Oh my goodness, look at his HP. That was one special worth of damage. I don't know why I used my call there. Oops. I swear I'll get you yet. Honestly, I'm gonna go for Theseus first today. Just because I can. I think it's funnier if I do it that way. Where'd he go? How'd you crawl the way over there, bud? Dionysus' call for, for Theseus is a little bit annoying just because it, it it's kind of random where it lands. Jeez, our Beyblade build is a wrecking face. Oh, right, you have a dash. That's why you move so fast. I dedicate this to my good shade. No, you're not. Well, I, I mean, technically... Technically, he is still because he's dead. Show them. Yeah, so we're at the myself. we're at the point. Again, Shade, thanks to your support. Always appreciate your support, my good Shade. I like that he just dresses in red, so you can tell it's that Should Shade that's supporting you. Soon. Admittedly, when I was uh, when I first played this game, must I send servers to block your path again? When I first played this game, I had thought no, that, that you're going to anyway. Um, sorry, they, they, I didn't want to talk over them. Uh, when I had originally played this game, I had thought that uh, what's it called? The very large shade in that room was actually the one that was cheering you on, not the obviously Zagreus colored shade, uh, which I know is silly, but and check. it's kind of sad what a what things I can be completely oblivious to. <laughs> no matter. All right, we're on to sticks. Any gold pots here? Now, I believe Side Hustle will trigger every time I enter a chamber, not just the end chambers, but we'll see. But it is a very fast way to gather a coin. For the road ahead. I can't give you anything. Nope. When you're in the shop, I can't give you gifts, unfortunately. I think I see a fish. You do see a fish. Let's take it. Here, fishy, fishy. So, I, I know I've attempted to talk about Apothecary Diaries multiple times and gotten immediately distracted like usual. So what else can I say about it? I mean, first and foremost, if, if you're going into it blind, I, I find... Oh, excellent. Okay. Okay, Kiwi, we're going to do this. We're going to get Ares's keepsake this time. I promise. It's going to happen. I'm not going to be leaving the end of this chamber feeling immensely disappointed in myself. Just you watch. So I guess here I'll talk about Ares' keepsake. Actually, no, I, I don't think so. We'll just we'll just go back to our original plan for talking point. So I think Mau Mau as a character is a lot is a ton of fun. She's so interesting. She's surprisingly relatable in how she interacts with other people, both trying to like maintain her not step out of bounds on her station, but also trying to take care of those who through one reason or another may not be most adept at taking care of themselves and then of course those who just have illness or have circumstances that need kind of a sleuth like she she's, seems to be very prone about sticking her nose into things and theorizing what's going on even though she knows she probably shouldn't for her own sake if nothing else but she inevitably because of her nature gets quite a bit of notoriety where she's working and I mean, what was it? I think it was episode four, the, the episode where she uh, she just gets eventually, uh, effectively completely fed up with a, a group of people, particularly one person who is unintentionally, but nonetheless, killing their uh, the person they're they're hired to serve. And like, I don't, I didn't like. They don't really try to portray Mao Mao as a violent person, but in this one instance, you see her kind of just crack. And, and become kind of violent, and it, it's, it's surprising the power of that scene. 
And she eventually realizes that if she wants to get these women to work with her, she has to use it, use fear as a means of kind of keeping them in line for the sake of their their uh, patrons' well-being. Okay, we remembered. Look at that. Lord Ares, please accept this offering for giving me such strength as necessary to succeed. There we go. <sighs> you are a flatterer, my death-inflicting kin. And I am feeling generous as well, so here, a small token for you of my affection. Aw, thanks. You have my thanks, Lord Ares. So my least favorite god of the bunch, it seems, but Olympus, I not for message. aesthetic, just for what he does. Blade Rift effects deal wider area, which would be cool. 13% damage up. I think we just take this for the for the prophecy fulfillment. So after slaying a foe, your next attack and special deals more damage. It's going to be largely useless against the final boss, but at least we have it. One less thing to worry about on the prophecy list, you know? All right. So Ares is there. I can probably take more of him. Let's see. What do I want? Let's take the, the upgraded Athena boon first, and then we'll take Aphrodite last. She'll probably give us her legendary at that point. Maybe? We'll see. All right, we're definitely we're gathering up coin very quickly. Um, I know I commented. So, the thing about watching a series a second time round when you know what's going to happen, and, and with someone else whose perspectives tend to differ from yours in terms of how you engage with with media, it's fun. It's interesting too. Like, you you pointed out there's a large like uh, there there is an importance to flowers later in the series, but I didn't really notice how prevalent the 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 existence of flowers are in the earlier earlier portions of the of the show um the rhododendrons that cause potential poison or, or uh, well we don't know for sure it was the rhododendrons but in the second episode when a group of soldiers are getting poisoned by pre presumably the utensils they're making out of wood or or stems from from my chambers are a mess uh fr from well goodness that's a lot of explosions Let's bait blade this guy. I think I killed it already. Wow. Man, the Blitz Disc Blade Rift combo is strong. Let's see if I can get you there. There we go. Looks like I'm clear. What am I trying to say? Death Defiance, Encounter, Gauge Gauge, Full. Oh, hey, we finally got her, her debuff. Now I don't have to worry about remembering to use her cast. I'm still going to forget to use your cast. What prophecy did I get? I don't think I, I thought we had that boon already. No matter. Uh, let's see. HP next or palm? I think we take the HP or... No, actually, you know what? The coin would probably be great. You know what? I'll take the HP first, and then I'll go for the palm. I'll go for the coin after that. And maybe with that, we can buy a Titan Blood. We sure will if they give us a room like this where we get 45 coins just in pots alone. Yeah, look at that. We're getting privilege status, finally. All right. So, anyway. Where was I? So, I mean, so th there is a, a notable presence of flowers throughout this show. Not just as, like, character design and... What's the, phrase, what's the phrase this as? Uh, not just in terms of character design and aesthetic of, of the show, which is definitely a big part of it, but also... Uh, the opening theme has the entire first half just being focused on kind of flowers and, and nature. And I think that's really cool. Um, well, more than really cool. It, it's interesting how later on in the series, a, a, a blue rose becomes a very integral part of the plot. Now, you don't actually see a blue rose in the opening, I believe. There seems to be more emphasis on kind of this single flowered yellow plant. Or Should keep me going. A, a single yellow flower, but nonetheless, it is. Uh, there, you you do get a sense that there is a uh, importance placed on flowers pretty early, and it's like it's almost subconscious to a degree because you don't necessarily notice it unless someone points it out to you, or you're really like looking for the subtler details, knowing later on in the show there is an importance to flowers. Uh, which I, I think is cool. I think it's it's cool that I, I love it when openings hide little Easter eggs that you could not possibly know without the context. But then when you go back to them and see it, you realize, oh hey, they sort of made reference to this thing, or or not even that they made reference, but they're, they're acknowledging something that may be kind of plot integral. 
uh, and, and so that was something you pointed out early on. Because like you're, you, you notice like, wow, they're really playing up the importance of flowers, but why? What else? I mean, uh, just how we, how our differing views on that episode four scene where where Mau Mau kind of slaps the woman across the face after finding out that she was effectively poisoning Lady Lihua with lead again, despite having been told that the lead powder was banned for a reason. Um, she was more focused on keeping her her dying patron uh, beautiful than actually healthy. And it, it was a matter of pride and, and negligence that things were playing out the way they were. And, and because of that, Mau Mau ends up slapping this woman across the face pretty hard to the point of landing her on the ground and then dragging her to where the lead is saying, you're poisoning her. I told you this. Why are you do still doing it despite knowing? Um, and and it's, 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 it's such a powerful moment for Mau Mau's character because you, you've never seen her break like this. And the way I interpreted it was... Fang-bearing Cerberus directs all three of his attentions toward the Sator Sack. I thought it was she was frustrated by these people not listening to her, how they were kind of just being dismissive and patronizing to her because she was of lower birth of, of another... She was a lady in, waiting, lady in waiting for a different consort. And so they were just completely disrespecting her. Whereas you are more, she gave them this information, they had the information to Ready use, go. and should know better than to use something that was toxic to the person, and so she would blow a gas for that. Blossom. I caught it subtle scent as you approached. The queen has her mother's strength, and much more self-control. <laughs> what, you're afraid of a little flower now, father? One that imbues me with the fiercest might of Olympus granted, but still, it looks harmless at least. I fear your little flower there much more than you. The queen and her mother, they possess power over life, thus power over death. Scary. Alright, so I need to remember to use my cast on this fight just so that I can guarantee get the damage debuff on him. And then remember to Beyblade as well. Free damage that I can't... I, I'm invulnerable during that move, so I really should be spamming it off cooldown. Oh, I tried to use it, but I didn't have it up. I was trying to use it to actually dodge the attack there. I think because I have such good AoE, I'm just going to focus on beating up... <laughs> Threatening the wretches so that they don't tell people that Zagreus is beating up dear old dad. I'm definitely getting punished for playing Super Melee Brainless, but it's honestly fine. It's so consistently fine, it's kind of funny. Like, look at our AoE. Look at all the damage we're taking. <laughs> it's great. We're playing so well. I had to... I, I guess I could have easily dodged, but, you know. It's Beyblade time! Like, he takes so much damage from Jolted as well. And it's funny, I'm, I'm standing melee to him, but I'm deflecting his projectiles as he spawns them, too. Wasn't sure I was going to pop that before it exploded, unfortunately, but we got him. Okay, that's phase one. Let's see if I can beat phase two without taking any damage. We're not finished. Wow, I immediately take damage. That's kind of embarrassing. I'm just trying to kite him into the blitz disc where possible. And if I time my dodges right, I, he can't really hit me. Ow, ow, okay. Okay, he can hit me. I time my dodges poorly though, so. My statement stands as to what I said before. It's just, again, I have to time my dodges properly. Alright, so realistically speaking, we are going to take a Death Defiance here, but it's fine. Oh, tried to use it a little too early. Oh, the pot. It's always the pot, Kiwi. Never trust pots. Alright. Oh, well, this is fine for some free damage. Ah, wasted it against that. It's fun how fast we generate the God Gauge, though, in this build. Oh, jeez. Okay, can we can we see myself not using another Death Defiance at the very least? We're gonna try for it at the very least. Oh, lasers. 
I do, I do find it very difficult to reliably get the Blitz Disc to land on enemies, and then it starts retracting when I use the call sometimes. It's not because of the call specifically, it's actually because of the, it just times out after a certain bit. I was testing it before the, we started recording today to prove that fact, but it's fine. We've got him now. Oh, especially if he stands still for us. Here, come right here. Oh, well. Uh, I walked into that. All right, do we do it? We did it. Okay, you only won. only one death defiance. Oh. With your youth comes a certain strength. It seems it's the power of love, dearest father. You fought well. G G G G W P. <laughs> All right. In the name Blitz of disc. very sore right now. <laughs> cute uh i mean the fact that zeus special isn't listed here is kind of a disservice to it because absolutely the zeus special carried this run but eh, i don't really care too much about organizing this all right there we go another run cleared let's go ahead and head back to the house reflecting on this victory prince zachris observes how death can take hold in so many different ways at times quite slowly, and at other times. Uh, no. So more on that scene with Mau Mau where she got violent. It, it, another interesting perspective we had between the two of us was, do we ever feel the urge to be violent when I we it, I think. when we disagree with others? And for me, I certainly feel that urge, but I never, I, I rarely, if ever, act on it's it. Not here now, huh? If anything, I'll take it out on like a pillow or something after the fact. But I've never, maybe once I can think of, okay, twice. The time I bit a kid because I wanted to put away a bowling ball when I was in kindergarten. It was like a little plastic bowling ball, ball and me and another kid were fighting over who got to put it away for, like, kids fight over the stupidest things, I swear. And this is like the stupidest thing of my childhood, aside from maybe brinking my pinky in a patch of grass after falling off a tricycle. That was, that was a manly triumph if ever there was Achilles, one. If a friend of yours were in need of assistance, but the only way you could assist them was to somehow change the terms of an ancient pact father probably forced on them, what would you do? I would be very careful, above all. Do you understand, lad? I would not wish to make things any worse. How many pacts such as the one you're thinking of are buried back in the administrative chamber there? Even your father can't keep track. Although, perhaps Nix can. Nix, you're right. She knows everything. Wouldn't hurt to ask her, I suppose. Excellent. Okay, it sounds like we might be unlocking. Just watch yourself. We might finally be unlocking the administrative chapter, uh, cha uh, chamber, which will hopefully help me find the missing run. Because <laughs> apparently, out of twenty-four runs or twenty-five runs now, there is a single run that was either recorded and deleted or just never you happened. Like when you get pets like this, don't you, boy? I'm not sure. I'm gonna try and track it down best I can. Always pet the Cerberus. The watchdog Cerberus observes the prince. As a good watchdog should. All right, what do you guys have to say? You're late with your report, Hypnos. Again. Again. The dead, of course, can wait, but I'm less patient. Now explain yourself to me. Oh, well, let's see. I woke up, I don't know what time it was, and I made sure that every shade had been accounted for, just like I always do, except I couldn't find my list at first. Can you believe it? I thought maybe my brother played a little prank, and so... <laughs> Get to the blasted port already. I don't have all day or night. Uh, your report, where is it? Sure, I was just getting to it, Master. My list, I found it over by the lounge. It was inside, but I am not the one who put it there, no, sir. So I've been making positively sure it's not been tampered with, that it has everybody's name, cause of death, place of birth, former body weight, any previous allergies or medications. <laughs> that news should work in the medical field. Uh, yeah, I, I appreciate that. Notice that the text in this box got smaller relative to all the other text just so they could squeeze it all in. Hypnos is a bit of a jokester, isn't he? Enough. Blood and darkness, that's enough from you. Just see to it the ledger of the dead is accurate and get back to your post. Oh, would that you could be more like your brother. <laughs> Ooh, he pushed the button. Now, you pushed the button, the brother button. 
Hey, Our that's new. Court music stand authorizes playback of music, pieces of music from the vault. Darker thirst. All right, well, we'll definitely want that. This ought to help Orpheus keep his boundless libraries of music in order. Just have to fill it in. Oh, my. Music, music for our ears. Seems like I'm still, in theory, unlocking things, maybe? But I, I will probably start building up the, the house a little bit more, just because... Oh, hey, we can unlock the music, but it all costs diamonds. Wow. I mean, I think this is the first one we have to unlock once we can afford things with diamonds after work orders, right? Ugh. The Wretched Broker did it. Good job, Wretched Broker. I love his little happy... It's so cute. Here's what I caught. Hmm. All right, we've got a good wisely, we've friend. got a good stockpile of nectar. We should start giving it around to those who make sense I to give it to. Wasted quite enough of both our time, don't you? Meg doesn't feel like talking. Fair enough. All right, let's see. Let's let's give. Oh, I can't give it to Hades. Okay, let's see if I can give one to Achilles. No, this is for me. You really shouldn't have. You're spoiling me rotten. Yep. I just happen to think you deserve better than you've got down here, Achilles. Good. All right. Say, Orpheus, I heard what must have been a song of yours. It went something, something in the blood. You know that one? It was amazing, mate. <laughs> something, something in the blood. Oh, that one. Yes, I know. I mean, it was a favorite, I was told, by those who listened to the music I created with my muse. It was a most productive time back when we were alive. Would you ever sing it again? I highly doubt it, no. Oh. Wow. Well, that's awkward oh, after free. you that's a little awkward after what we just said. New music. So can I this. Okay. <laughs> I know this song. It's the opening theme song. I have to ask you something, Nix. What is this debt you owe my father anyway? Forgive my eavesdropping, it's just I heard the two of you discussing things and it came up. I was here long before your father. The responsibility to govern fell to me. Yet, I could not manage on my own. I shape the darkness, ensure the integrity of the domain. I am less prone to census-taking and administering rules. I receded from such responsibilities. It was too much even for you. So, when father arrived, you welcomed him? He helped? I was quite skeptical of him at first. I thought his presence merely a cruel trick of fate. But he worked diligently from the start. Soon there was order where once there was none. I fashioned this house for him, and I maintain it still. We remain in partnership, in interdependency. He has never taken advantage of you, of your generosity? No, child, he has not. He can be short with me, as you have seen, but that is the extent of it. We have found ways to reconcile disagreements. Though, your relationship with him, it is more complicated than my own, I fear. That's for sure. Although, we seem to be making good recomp uh, recompense with that. I'm sure we can reconcile our disagreements <laughs> all the same. Reconciliation recompense. How can I possibly accept such generosity, my child? Surely others whom you know are more deserving of such offerings. Not really. Nonsense, Nix. I want you to have it. You've always cared for me. I can't ever repay you for that. That's sweet. <gasps> I, 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 oh, no, I just forgot something. I, I have to go. Take care, right. Dusa. Mom, are you in your garden? Nope, Mom's missing. Okay, fair enough. I very much appreciate how they make the opening theme song that you hear at every start of the every time you turn on the game. It transforms into Hades theme so clearly. Pleasure doing business. All with right, you, we've got some stuff to complete. God of Swiftness, the son of the God of the Dead, shall someday earn various boons of Hermes. Glad to have Lord Hermes on my side. Wanton ransacking, the son of the God of the Dead, shall someday slay various armored wardens guarding key underworld chambers. Was this lot the best you have, Father? The useless trinket. Tr trinket? Trinket. The son of the god of the dead shall someday earn a magnificent tribute after breaking free from the realm in which he was born despite the pact of punishment. I guess it is a pretty decent statue. Okay. We just got five. Oh, hard had to happen. Fulfill any 15 prophecies. Okay, so I got five diamonds, and now the logical choice here 
is to buy like two of these and get the upgrades that they give. But the funnier option would to be f to, c to complete the punchline of the joke we just made. I think we'll go with this. Has inspiration struck? Okay, Orf Orpheus. Okay, Orpheus. Well, how about a little song? Is that all right? Remember when you said you wouldn't sing this for us? I how, how do I get there? I, I can't. It won't let me pan over there. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Why certainly, of course. <laughs> I'm attempting to work here. Well, continue to and work next. while you enjoy your music. Did he just like? That was weird. Why are you here? Anyway, that's the joke. He said he probably will never sing the song and immediately start singing the song. Let's go with this one. All right, let's do an aspect of Nemesis run. You now for what you truly are. Bonus critical chance for three seconds after your special. You are. After you special, your attack may deal critical damage. All right, you know what that sounds like? It'll All go right. really well with some Excellent. some Artemis. So next next run, we'll be running Aspect of Nemesis with the Keepsake of Artemis, and we're just going to go a crit heavy build. We'll want to get her attack and her dash attack, and between those two, we'll have a pretty darn high crit chance. Let's see what you can do in terms of hitting me, pal. All right, Kiwi. Well, I guess I'll talk more about uh, the Apothecary Diaries in the next episode, potentially. But for now, I think that's where this episode ends. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you're awake, and I hope if you're sleeping, this is helping. Wait, no. If you're awake, I hope this is helping you fall asleep. It's never bedtime here. If you're sleeping, I hope you're sleeping well. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. In the blood. It's in the blood.